Good evening YouTube, BD Kane 721 Second video of the day. I've been home all day. My wife is out of town on business, so I have been cleaning out my uh, closet with my cards and doing some other things. But I've been asked this question quite a bit and I wanted to put something out there uh, to help answer the question. People ask me about my PC all the time. And I'm one of those collectors that's so specific in what I collect. I don't really have any other PCs. But it made me think today as to what to do for a PC, or for a side PC, I guess. Um, as you know, Topps Chrome sets are my main collection uh, PC. So I started looking through my, my uh, collection uh, of other things, of things that I've collected over the years, obtained over the years through different means. And it came up with a stack in front of you of a single player that um, is going to be very hard to PC. But I thought, since I have quite a bit of him, um, I would try to try to continue it and see how far I can get. Um, one of my main videos up on my channel is when I pulled this beauty of a card out of a 2013 Topps Chrome Holly Box. Um, it was probably the best box I ever pulled anything from, and this happened to be the card. It's uh, numbered out of 25. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. 12 of 25. Obviously, it's Mike Trout. It's the only auto I own of his, and this whole stack here is all Mike Trout cards that over the years I would just put aside whenever I would get anything from him. Uh, whether it's in a Topps Chrome product or through a trade, um, I would just throw it to the side and always think to myself that I would try to do more of Mike Trout of a Mike Trout um, collection. But this is a pretty cool one. I got this at the All Star Game when it was here in San Diego. Uh, a couple of rookie cards. That's a pretty good one. Actually, it's one of the ones that I'm thinking about getting graded someday. Um, but I can't really, it doesn't really focus for whatever reason. But uh, there we go. It's a pretty well centered card, as you can tell. And corners are pretty sharp. So I think this could grade pretty well. I probably should put it in something like this just to keep it in better shape. But that would be a card that I'd want to maybe one day get graded. But anyway, this is the only thing that I really keep on the side. Um, as you can see, I've just collected a whole bunch over the years, and most of it is Topps Chrome stuff, but the other half of it or so is going to be things that I've gotten through trades, or maybe just saw it online on eBay or something and purchased it because it was relatively cheap and I didn't have it. Um, there's some really, there's some nice numbered cards in here. So, I created a list, just to even be more organized about it of all of his base cards that are not numbered or not autographed or ha or don't have any any uh, relics or memorabilia attached to them and I'm gonna start trying to I've already checked off a couple that I have here on the first page and I'm gonna try to do it for as many of these as I can so hopefully that answers at least a few of the questions I've gotten over the years as far as what I tend to try to try to collect um, on the side and as far as Topps Chrome, uh, after Topps Chrome. So if you have any trouts that you're willing to trade or even sell, let me know. But again, I'm only looking for the non-numbered, non-autoed uh, cards, uh, you know, because that's really the only thing that I want to try to focus on since I'm doing everything else with the Topps Chrome sets. Hope everybody had a great Sunday and uh, watching the NBA All-Star Game, so I'm going to get back to that, and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.